This has reached the upper atmosphere. Let's do this. We're going to crack 18 kilometers. So, this is going to be... The whole idea is this, with an SRB on the bottom, hit 18 kilometers. Now, I want to be semi-safe. <laughs> I, I honestly really do want to be semi-safe with this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on... I would love to glide this. Uh, not onto the... Well, mate, no, let's let's just, well, who knows. Well, I want to glide at least into the water, and now all of a sudden I'm getting ambitious and maybe thinking about putting this into uh, land, but one thing at a time. They don't, EVA pack's not going to help them. Uh, definitely want to have a parachute. We won't do a crew report. No. Well, how long does it take to do a crew report? I think it says if I look at the science here oh my gosh so many windows crew report takes four minutes nah we're not gonna do that so we'll take this we're gonna configure oh there's no configuring to this pod anyway okay if we can do a crew report we can do a crew report might as well activate that uh, mono propellants not gonna help us Uh, if we take a look at our Kerbalism thing, they have enough food to last for five days. They certainly don't, whoever's going to go in this thing, that certainly isn't going to help them out. We'll take out the water and oxygen as well. Let's see. Three hours of water, three hours of oxygen, three hours of food. Yeah. Uh, there's, if they need more than that, then they're already in trouble. <laughs> and all I'm thinking about, honestly... I mean, this is, this is, this is, uh, this, this ain't rocket science, is, is this. <laughs> I'm just thinking this. I want to make it something that can glide, but this thing's going to go like a bat out of hell. It really is. And then I'm thinking, just on a safety standpoint, if I open up the Mark II parachute, Um, that if I want to glide this whole thing back to the surface, but if I can't, I can hopefully uh, just hit stage and just recover our pilot without, you know, doing them major, major harm. That's 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 sort of my idea. Okay, so let's take the thrust. No, not the thrust. Let's take the when this thing is coming back. I just turned the gimbal limit down. Take the fuel all out. When this thing is gliding, it's going to be out of fuel. So let's see if we can make this into something that can glide. And again, I'm not going to be sophisticated. <laughs> okay, let's put on the mass and the lift. We want the lift a fair bit behind the mass. I think a f maybe a little bit higher. But not so much like a plane. Like as long as I can control it, we're going to give it some lateral stability. With a very small rudder, like so. You know what? I don't think. Let's switch the editors just really quickly. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. Sorry. Okay, now let's look at the lift and that. Ah, there. I don't think, I don't trust this. This looks funny. This shouldn't be right. Now where's the lift? A vertical surface like that should not be... want a single rudder Ooh, I am sure. this one thing should not be bringing the lift back so much the drag sure but not the lift and I really think because I started this in the other editor I'm thinking this 
You know what? We're gonna do this. Let's go back to the other editor. We're gonna do this by trial and error more than anything. There it is, there's our rocket plane. So, it does not need a lot of Delta V. Uh, sure. And then we're gonna bring the thrust way down because this will be berserk enough as it is. Oh, oh, that's the fuel, thrust. Tilt it ever so slightly one way. I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? Here, I'm going to put this on a separate stage. I'm going to get in the habit of putting that booster on a separate stage like this. Come on, get down there. There we go. Okay, let's go through our checklist. Uh, fine print just to hit 18 kilometers. That's fine. It has control. Uh, I There's nothing to configure. I dealt with oxygen, water, and food. There's no science. Uh, power generation. I'm not going to worry about power generation, but now I'm thinking I do want some electrical storage um, because... Uh, this thing will be working on... Uh, the reaction wheels will be a good part of the control, and that will use up electricity. Put this on two-way symmetry, radial. There, that's what I want. That should be enough. Uh, electrical storage should be fine. Antenna strength, I don't care about. Uh, antennas don't matter. Data storage doesn't matter. Control surfaces. Um, let's turn down the authority limiter on this. And I'm going to take off yaw, but leave on pitch and roll. Sure, why not? Uh, pro uh, control surfaces, propulsion is taken care of. Air intakes are irrelevant. Lights. Lights. Doesn't need lights. Upgrades don't matter. Cargo. Let's just quickly look at the cargo. Just a parachute. That should be fine. Staging is fine. Okay, I think... I think, I think, okay, I'm gonna definitely give this a test. We are gonna give this a test. Who's, who's, who's already sitting? Probably Jebediah sitting in there, yeah. Let's give this a test, Jebediah. So we're gonna simulate this on the launch pad. Yeah, it might. If I, James is asking, will the administration building Moonar strategy negatively affect the high altitude milestones? Um, yes, what you do is you get a knock on milestones. That's uh, kind of what happens. Um, I realize now I'm in the dark, but we'll just do a test with this. Uh, but I'm just going to eat it because I just don't want to... I don't want everything to be about the moon. I want to do some other things. So, and I don't know. Is there a milestone? Well, let's see. Let's see if j this is going to work. So, this is just a test. And lights on for whatever they're worth. And Jeb is on his way up. And of course, all we got to do is crack 18 kilometers. So that's the first thing to check is, will this crack 18 kilometers? The second thing to check is, will I have control of it for gliding purposes? I think it looks good. Okay. You think it's ugly? I don't know if it's ugly. Oh, it's uh, really wanting to. There, I'm pitching. I'm pushing, pitching downwards. Can't really see it, but I'm really pitching downwards right now. There, that's better. I should watch electricity. No, electricity's fine. We're almost out of solid fuel. What's our apoapsis at? Oh my gosh, we are just barely. I think I need more uppitude. Ah, oh, we're doing okay. We are 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There we go. So I'm just going to time warp this. Let's take the SAS off. We'll let this kind of go ballistically. And the other thing I just want to check is, will this glide safely? And obviously I'm going for the water. 
we're gonna try and put her down down into the water but I just want to get down where the air is gonna be a little bit whoa don't do this with I can tell at least that the center of lift is behind the center of mass just because it followed that prograde vector so well let's turn this on maybe you might be able to see if we can just if I can level off then I'm pretty confident that I can do this as long as I can level out Oh, there's the KSC over there now I'm not a hundred percent sure this thing does not have a lot of pitch authority and as we're picking up speed it doesn't help oh yeah this does not I think because where these wings are up so far forward that there's not a lot of force pushing down uh, this is not gonna go well nope 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 okay so this is why we did a simulation <laughs> slight 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 change in mind slight change in mind that was just he was just gonna go crashing down so let's take this off uh, there was two little where's the center of mass when the fuel's all gone it was just too much too little authority on these guys what I'm thinking radial putting them further back to give me more pitch authority maybe even sneak them down this way a little bit I just don't think my center of lift center of mass indicators were telling me the truth and then what I'm thinking to help also with stability is, and I don't want these to be control surfaces. I could, it's just starting to get too big, I think, is ah. no. try this again. A couple of things at the front just to give some lift at the front of this thing you can tell I did not do a lot of thinking before slapping this together there oh now it's giving sort of a lifty kind of indicator okay this 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 might be a little more Now this looks like a center lift in the I'm gonna bring these up a bit. This is out of fuel, right? It actually might be that the lift is too far back. That might actually be the problem. Let's actually I'm gonna I'm gonna make these bigger at the front. That's what I'm gonna do. Now that I actually have a lift that I believe in, let's put some larger canard type structures. This is to pull the lift forward. So we have more lift towards the front. In a bit. There. Now I can pull this back a bit. So where the control authority is is behind the center mass that should give me more theoretically. <laughs> I also think it needed more thrust at the beginning. But one thing at a time. Okay, let's put the fuel back in. Oh, that's not going to be stable on takeoff. I got an idea. I got a better, better, better idea. Much better idea. Put a structural fuselage on this. I should have done this.
So only this thing is gliding back home. And we'll ditch the engine. I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> make this a whole day of failures. I want this to work. So like this is a glider and then we'll lose the booster. That's what I'm thinking about. Where's the mass and the lift now? I don't know why this won't work. Okay. And I think I want a bigger booster. Whoops. Engines. Heated coupler. But you see, now what I can do. There we go. Three way symmetry is what I was trying to get here. Now what I can do is put on some tail fins down here. Wow, that there's no way that I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This is what this. This is going to be a see what happens thing. I'm just not convinced that these are right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I think these are a little messed up because I'm using plain parts in the VAB. I don't know. Should probably increase the control authority considering... Oh, the authority was pretty high. Okay. Oh, this is the... Uh, what is this going to be? This is the Kerbal X1. That's what this is. Save this. Okay, let's try launching this again. I don't want a parachute down to the surface, Dan. I mean, the parachute's there, but it's it's like for a backup only. I really, really, really want, really want this. I should pitch to or time warp to sunrise, shouldn't I? Now here's a question. If I take off SAS and just don't... No, see, that that did that. Okay, so it wasn't lying as to where the lift was. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's... Sorry, wrong. Oh, did I push launch? Oh my god. I push launch instead of simulate. Okay, parachute for the win. Oh my golly. Jebediah, we almost killed you! <laughs> oh, I hit launch instead of simulate. Oh my goodness. Jebediah can do flips. There he is, okay. That could have gone really badly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna mount now. Now I'm determined. Now I really, really, really want to make this work. But a couple of things first. Couple of things first. First, 
Okay, let's recover this mess. Warp to sunrise. I meant to hit simulate and instead I hit I hit uh, launch. That was pretty dumb. Okay. So clearly, let's see what the lift Yeah, I need to get that lift way back. What if we put six of these back here? Eight of them back here. <laughs> Just to counter the, the lift forces at the top. Okay, a little bit more thrust now to deal with all of that weight that we just added on. Okay, save this. Simulate. Don't launch. Simulate. That's why we have escape systems, even when you simulate, because you might mistakenly hit the launch button, because you're a doofus. Why don't you use RCS? I don't know if I've unlocked any RCS thrusters yet. I don't think I have. I do not think I've unlocked any RCS thrusters. But I'm really, really, this is personal now. I really want this to work. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Go. Oh, shoot. Okay, so that, that clearly needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> hey, I'm flying this though. I'm flying this. I'm flying this. Okay. I think Jebediah is having fun. No matter what, Jebediah is having fun. So that's all that matters. No, we're upside down. Oh, we are... I want to go to the... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this thing actually... As ridiculous as this is, I'm actually kind of flying. I want to go over the ocean. That's my issue. There, we gotta go this way. So, as ugly as all that is, I'm actually, like, in control. Look at that. So our apoapsis is fine. We can start pitching downwards. Okay. So we cracked what we needed to crack. But now the question is, I'm going to get up here towards apoapsis. gonna lose this thing now the whole idea is will this stupid thing actually be functional a functional glider that's what I'm interested in if it is oh, okay that was me that was that's on me didn't have SAS on <laughs> I, I just want to save electric charge too okay actually part of the issue is I might be part of the issue is I'm on four times speed Part of the issue is I might be picking up just too much speed here. Okay, we are leveling off, my friends. What do you think? I'm actually... Here, let's... Let's pick up speed. I think it, th this thing needs a lot of speed to stay in the air. And we are... Somebody seriously wants the craft file for this monstrosity? <laughs> that I can't imagine. See, I'm pulling up, man. I'm, 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 I'm gliding. This is working. So this is it. This is gonna be for real now. I just want, you know, turn that off. Turn that off. What I think I also shall do. Uh, take away that checklist. And I'm thinking of things to add to the checklist, but one of them should be an abort action group. So for my abort action group. It is to decouple this, 
it's not much and activate this parachute that's all the abort <laughs> that's my abort action group um this really was very messy because of all of these fins that is definitely oh wait it's I see what's going on here this is on these fins are on eight-way symmetry four-way symmetry will that be a little cleaner will that be a little cleaner okay definitely want to simulate just the shoot cancel don't feel like they're there. Why are they being in a weird... What is going... Oh my gosh. There's something weird going on with the decouplers, or with those... Can we just hold them? I don't know, that seems like a bad idea too. There. One more simulation, but this isn't going to be a full flight. This is simply going to be, will it come off cleanly? Your vertical speed is pretty high. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I want that vertical speed? Or you mean while I was gliding at the end? We'll see. I wasn't, I can, I can, I can, I can get it. Jebes, I have confidence in Jebediah. Okay. This is just, will it launch cleanly? That's good enough. Okay. Terminating the simulation. We're doing it. Living on the edge. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is it. We're going to fly. We're going to fly. So, uh, yeah, this is it. So, save and launch. RCS build aid for construction of planes. I like vessels. Oh, I do use RCS build aid, but I've never used it for planes. It's very useful for planes. I don't think I have RCS let anyway. Okay, lights are on for whatever they're worth. All right, uh, I'm getting all kinds of warning that the oxygen and everything is low, but you know because he's only, it's at ten percent, but that's okay. Jeb, you know, either three hours from now, less well less than three hours from now, Jeb is either going to be landed or Deb is going to be dead. In either way, he is not in need of oxygen on this vessel. Okay, uh, let's do it. We are off. We are off and uh, we're going to go pretty high. Crew report is waiting, so we should be able to do a crew report up nice and high. There we go. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not completely hating this thing. It's kind of goofy. A much more sensible thing to have built would have been an airplane that takes off the runway with just an SRB on the back. That would have been... I think more sane but this is more fun I think this is more fun okay Apple apps this is just about at 10 kilometers again our goal is 18 kilometers a little I want to go a little bit more towards the east that's better Oh, we are really going high. So let's level off because I want to maximize the amount of time we spend in the upper atmosphere because it would be nice to be able to get that crew report off. Okay, we have cracked 18 kilometers. That crew report is now being done. Ships are ready to rescue Jebediah. I'm going to hang on to this for a little while. How long does it take to do this crew report? Does it say? It doesn't say there, but it probably does say here. Four and a half minutes to do the crew report. So let's see if we, I don't know if, I don't think we're gonna be up above the atmosphere for four and a half minutes. Let's just keep that on surface. SAS off, let's just, let's just let aerodynamics take over. We're just gonna go uh, ballistic here. Look at that, 43, almost 43 kilometers, didn't quite make 43 kilometers. Jebediah is ecstatic. 
Ecstatic. I we're not going to be getting much of this crew report. That's for sure. Still got just over two and a half minutes left on the crew report. I don't think there's no way. So what we're going to do? We'll slow this down. We're going to lose our booster and try and get this under some control here. You don't want to be going too fast. So, crew report, whatever we get, we get. And we're just going to ditch this in the water. Jebediah, you can do this. I'm turning around. I, I don't think I have any... I do not have any hopes of making it back to the KSC, but I thought... At least make it look like we are in some form of control. <laughs> we can affect our direction. We can affect our flight to some degree. I do have the parachute attached here that I can deploy, but I'm hoping not to. I want to keep the speed about the same now. I don't want my speed to go too low. Here, let's put this. Not that it matters. We're over the water. I don't want this speed to come too low because um, speed's what gives me control. But at the end, I want to flare up to slow down and be able to go into the water. So, okay, slow down. Let's get this. I want to be able to pull this up. See, I'm, 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 I'm fine there. My vertical speed's actually positive there for a little bit. Let's go back down again. Keep that speed up. Up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing's beautiful. There we go. Not in control. Jebediah has everything under control. There we go. <laughs> so that contract is complete. We have reached the upper atmosphere. I don't think there was a milestone associated with that. I think all the message that I got here. Well, let's recover. Let's see what happens. Okay, we did bring in, what's that, 1.5 <laughs> um, science just from that crew report. It wasn't very much, but uh, whatever. We're, we are at 26.5 science because science still keeps chuckling. Chuck, chuckling? Still keeps trickling in is what I'm trying to say. We've completed this um, reach the upper atmosphere contract. We are now one step closer to being able to put our first Kerbal into space.